A night of awards and food is making its way to Peoria this Friday. And joining us to talk more about the Winter Wonderland holiday fundraiser dinner is Jacoby Proctor and Devon Sidnor from the George Washington Carver Community Center. Good morning. Morning, Good morning. morning. Glad to have you two here. Obviously, lots to discuss. So first and foremost, for those who don't know, what is the Winter Wonderland event? Basically, every year we, for the past seven or eight years, we've had a, this is our annual fundraiser for Carver Center. Uh -huh. And we really want folks to come out and support it because it's, it's for funding that with our programs and all that, you know, that going forward, Carver. And like I was talking earlier about the fact that um, COVID really hit us exceptionally hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need a lot of folks to come out and really financially support this event. And if you can't come to the event, please support us financially we have a we have a donate button on our website that we, you know and i'm issuing a challenge to all my carver family and friends past and present they know what carver center has done for this community for years i get passionate about it, i'm sorry but it's genuine mm -hmm. uh, um, i came up through carver center so i know a lot of family and friends would agree with me 100 percent. so come on out and support the event Absolutely. And so what are some of the awards being given out? And then where do the proceeds of the fundraiser go to? So this year, this will be our first year where we're actually giving out awards. Um, we're giving out the Percy, De Percy Baker Athletic Award, the Irma Davis um, Education Award, and then the Ken Hinton Arts and Humanity Award. And then those proceeds will go to support Carver Programming, which is um, we have a health program, we have an education program, we have an elderly program, um, so it, an after school program. So it'll just go to fund all of those programs. Most of it is just giving back to the community 100%. Absolutely. And what kind of role does the George Washington Carver Community Center play in the Peoria community? Well, this year and in previous years, we're about to turn 100 next year. So next year going forward, we're, we're really looking to establish the pillar points that we've always had at Carver. Um, arts and humanity, culture, uh, sports and education. We're just, we're just really trying to give back to the community that started us all together. So we're going to be out there making sure that people have exactly what they need. And we want to make sure that in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of everything going on, that Carver is where you can come to find mm -hmm. exactly what you need, whether it be after school programming, whether it be fitness and health, whether it be mental health, we just want to be there. We're partnering with Heartland, with WTVP, with United Way. We have a lot of great agencies that are helping us help others. Absolutely. And also, I know, like we were just talking about some out some of the violence that's been happening in the community. Yes. What kind of outlet has the community center been for the youth? We have some, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, we have some mentoring programs. Um, we partner with um, different mentoring. We have 100 Black Men, we have um, May I Community. We are just doing a lot to make sure that the kids and the families, not just the kids, but the families have resources to come to. Uh, we're making sure that we're just, we're there for people to come and say, I don't have anything for them to do. What are you doing? You can have something to do at Carver. We're a Comcast lift zone, so there's resources for people to come and uh, look for jobs, look, do their homework. There's just a lot of things at Carver that we're working on. Absolutely. And of course, we want people to come out and support you all. So how much is it to attend and where can people get tickets? $100 for tickets, um, $700 for a table. I think we have about two or three tables left and they see oh, eight. Nice. Uh, and then you can come to the www.thecarvercenter for more information on that. Or you can call us 309-839-0722. So give us a call. We're there. Give us and a that's call, guys. December 10th. December it's Friday. 10th, 630. All right. Come on down. Come on out, guys. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Come on out. Support us. We'd love okay. to have you. Love to see you guys there. Absolutely. You can come too. Come oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you two so much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you for having us. Thanks Absolutely. For having us. And thank you. And we will have this interview with all the information up on our website, ciproud.com. We'll be right back.